Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to do a paint with me tutorial and we're gonna paint this cute little Jersey cow. So you wanna sketch this out first and if you wanna see the reference photo, you can head over to my Pinterest and see the photo that I sketched this from. Let's start off by painting the buttercups and you can do that with a liner brush or a script brush. So get your brush wet. And then you just wanna roll the brush in the green color that you're gonna use. And we can mix some green with a little bit of yellow ochre. And that'll give you a nice kind of a neutral green that's not um, too unrealistic. If you use it right out of, the, out of the tube, it might be a little bit too unrealistic. And then very carefully on the tip of that brush, just go ahead and make a little stem. I love this brush because you can get these really fine lines. And then just add a little bit of a leaf on to the stem. And then you have a perfect stem there. Next, let's paint in the buttercups. And you can do this with a size eight round brush. And you wanna do a darker value of the buttercups first. So you could mix some yellow ochre with a little bit of gray and then just paint the petals that are in the back. We don't wanna to do too much detail here because this is not the main focal point of our painting. Okay, now that you have the darker shade of yellow, go ahead and grab the lemon yellow, which is a nice lighter cooler shade of yellow and you can put that in the middle of the buttercup. Okay, and then just quickly on top of that, you can add a highlight. So use a little bit of your titanium white mixed with a little bit of yellow, lemon yellow that we have on the palette here, and then just pop in a highlight. That's just gonna go right in the center of that petal. and maybe grab a straight white titanium and put a little bit of a lighter highlight of a, just a pure white. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to do for the flower. And let's move on to the cow, the cute little Jersey cow. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with this size eight round brush and I wanna put in the darkest values first. So let's go ahead and put in a Van Dyke Brown, kind of mix it out on the palette. And I wanna get quite a bit of water on the brush as well because this is kind of a wash, kind of an underpainting that we're starting with. And look at your reference photo and just go ahead and add where the darkest values of the cow are. And you can see in the ear, it's a pretty dark value underneath this part where the horn is. And then around the eye is pretty dark. And then this part here is pretty dark. And around the muzzle. Just carefully add this in as an underpainting. And our sketch is doing a lot of the work for us here. And then we've got some shadows right here. Okay, so that's pretty good for an underpainting. And then we could move on to the middle tone. And to do this, let's mix some Van Dyke Brown with a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow ochre and see what kind of a color that gives us. Okay, I think that looks like a pretty good mid-tone. So let's put that in and see if we like it. That's a pretty good shade of brown for the cow. So we can just add a little bit of water and put this down kind of as a wash in the lighter areas of the cow so that we're just filling in all of this white space. Okay, and I want 
my brush strokes to be um, they're showing through at this point so I want them to be kind of neat I want them all going in the same direction fairly smooth okay and I can decide here if I want this part to kind of go all the way off the page or if I want it to be a little bit more loose and abstract Okay, and then you can kind of go over some of those brush strokes, blend them a little bit, soften them a little bit as well. Okay, so that's a good underpainting. So then let's put in some even darker values. So let's take that Van Dyke Brown and bring out some of those darker values a little more in the ear, underneath and around the muzzle, top of the nose, and underneath the jaw, we want that line to be a little bit darker so that we don't lose the shape of the neck. Okay, so that looks good. And then let's add in some lighter value. So we could use this creamy color. It's kind of dried a little bit on the palette, but let's see how that shows up in the lighter areas. So right here in the cow, it's quite a bit lighter. You could put some of this on the muzzle, kind of a highlight right here, highlight around the eye, right underneath the eye is pretty light. Over here it's light. So you're just looking at your reference photo and you're deciding where those lighter values are and where you wanna put them in. Okay, so at this point, let's let's actually put a little bit darker shade in the ear because we're losing some of that darkness. So we get a little bit of a water, a little bit too much water on the brush. So we might have to let that dry a little bit. So while that's drying, let's take a very fine detail brush. This is a size zero spotter. And this is good for really fine details. So let's get into the eye area. So let's make mix up a little bit of black with that Van Dyke Brown and just very carefully paint in that eye. Okay, and then also paint the nose very carefully. And then you can paint right here the lips, the cow, and then it comes up, it kind of hooks a little bit more water. So right here it kind of hooks and you're doing that very carefully. A lot of concentration. Okay, and then this part there's some kind of black little dots. You could kind of stipple that in just to make some texture there. Okay, so let's see how that's looking. I could add a little bit more black onto the ear here just to define that a little bit better. And now we need to work on the eyelid and around the cow. So let's take Let's take a brown shade and see if we can carefully put that around that eye to make part of the lid and kind of cover up some of that black as well. And I don't want any white showing here. And now I wanna put in a highlight just so that I know where the highlight is so that I have a little bit more of an idea of where I'm looking in space. So this is a light blue. Just touch that in carefully as a highlight. Okay, so you have that highlight. So it needs a little more black. So instead of black, let's tr take a um, Payne's Gray. And then let's see if we can outline the eye very carefully 
and you can tell, you can see the eye of the cow. It's kind of, it almost looks like they have eyeliner. I have these really big, beautiful brown eyes. And then they have a very defined eyelid. So let's try to get that in there as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so then at this point, you wanna kind of step back a little bit, look at your work and see where you need to adjust your values, where you need to add some lighter parts or some darker parts. So let's take this size two filbert. Let's see if we can add some touches here. So let's grab a little bit of white, titanium white, mix it with some of this tan color to have a light value and come back over this really light part of the cow, the cheek. So we want that to stand out a little bit more. And then around the ear as well, there's some lighter parts. And we can maybe grab a straight titanium white, put that in there, working wet on wet, kind of blend that around a little bit. And then the ear on this side, it's got quite a bit of fur, so we can kind of put that in. And then here you have kind of like part of the skin that's just a little bit loose and wrinkly, and you can put that in with this lighter shade, and then kind of blend it in. And blend this in as well. And then right here, it's quite a bit lighter, and if I go on top of that black, that's okay because it's gonna diffuse it a little bit because it is presenting as a little bit too strong. So if I glaze on top of that, it will not be a big deal. Okay, and kind of going over the black of the nose a little bit. And then right there, there's quite a bit of highlight. So grab a little bit of white and right around that nose, add a little bit of a highlight and then right where it goes up, there's a little bit of a highlight. Okay, so I wanna carefully put in a little bit of white on the top of that eyelid, very, very carefully. Okay, and that was, I might have to blend that in because it's a little bit too strong. So just get a damp wet, um, get a damp brush without paint on it and just carefully pick some of that up ever so carefully. And you can see that kind of fixed it and made it look a little bit more natural. Okay, and then these parts here, we might wanna blend them in a little bit. That titanium white, it's so strong. It's such a strong color. It's hard to work with sometimes. It's hard to get it to do exactly what you want it to. It's a highlight right here. Okay, again, we're gonna play with the values. So I need a little more chocolatey brown, a darker brown to bring out this part of the nose. Just need that to be quite a bit stronger. And then down here, it's kind of defining the eye as a darker value. So we can put that in. And then again, just kind of blend it with your brush and then we might go a little bit darker, maybe a little bit of Payne's gray and put some of those darker values around the eye. But again, just being careful that you don't do too much. Let's put a little bit more underneath the chin and inside that ear, it's pretty dark. Okay, and then just go back and kind of blend, blend that in a little bit. Just being careful not to overdo it. Always balancing. Painting is very much a balancing act. Okay, so how does that look? Let's bring this down a little bit, that shadow. Okay, and then bring, we could bring this highlight back up right here. Bring this highlight up a little bit. And 
and maybe right here. Okay, so I'm going to blend. So I'm going to put a little bit of color in this. They have this beautiful velvety coat. So I want to try putting in some of this lilac color. And think of the tone, it's um, kind of a mid-tone value. So we can just kind of put that around the painting where we see this kind of velvety shade and then just kind of blend that in. It's almost like a, a gray tone. Okay, and then again, just step back, look at your values. You might want to make a little more shadow under the neck here. It's like a large jawbone that needs to be defined. And then over here, it's a little bit of a shadow underneath this ear that we can define as well. And then kind of blend that out as well. Okay, so at this point, I don't really want to add too much more. Um, let's maybe make the nose a little bit darker here. I see it needs a little bit more of a darker value around the mouth. Maybe underneath here. Okay. Okay, so... At this point, it's pretty much done. Um, you can go back and adjust things, kind of move things around as you need. But for the most part, I think this piece is done. So if you want to give this a try, um, try to follow along. I know this one is a little more difficult and just because realistic animals are a little harder of a subject. But give it a try and see how you go. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video and bye.